And we are ready to go at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Atlanta Falcons. This is taken about seven yards deep. Logan. They'll wind up getting a yard on the game's first play at second down. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Now Thompson. That's caught by the big tight end, O.J. Howard. It's a gain of 11, and the Bucks have a first down. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. Off play action. Thompson eluding the pressure right. Looking downfield for Godwin. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. It was Ricardo Allen there on the coverage. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. On second down, it's Logan. And he's going to get hit at the line of scrimmage and driven backwards. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Thompson from the gun. He'll throw. And that is incomplete. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. So on now is the Clemson man, Bradley Pinion, to punt this one away. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And now where will the side judge stop his walk? That's the question. He says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. Ryan and the Falcons now come up first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. Off the play fake to Freeman. It's Ryan. Oh, well, this is taken in. It's complete. It's a gain of 35. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they can scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. He shows you right there, he can do more than just cover in the secondary from that free safety position. Yeah, the evolution of the position has really been significant, hasn't it? Because a lot of teams no longer have a free safety, strong safety designation. They just have safeties. So wherever the ball is, one can be close to the line of scrimmage, one can be deep, and vice versa. On that play, how about that tackle we just saw? Pretty nice. On the carry, it's Olison. He's able to rattle off six on the carry, and that'll get him to third and four. They definitely established a rhythm on this drive, moving the ball quite well. And big man with football is an integral part of the whole thing. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Now Ryan. He's got Freeman here. It's complete. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. A nice pick up there, 18 yards, first down Falcons. They'll run for the first time with Devontae Freeman. They'll get him to the ground at the 20, following a pick up of four. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. At the Buccaneers, 20 yard line. Down, 
The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. And to give this time to the tailback. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Marcus Green, his second touchdown on the season. And they are able to strike first here on their opening drive. Bryant's extra point up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And still a lot of football to be played in this season. We're only in November. A lot can happen between now and January. But if it ended today, they would just be on the outside of the playoff picture looking in. So a lot to fight for. Let us know. We know where we are right now. But the playoffs don't start tomorrow. We still got some time. And they plan on putting it together, formulating a streak. And the whole month of December is still left to play. They think they can get in. And they made it very obvious to us that there's no playoff talk in the locker room right now. It's win this game and look to next week. Excellent focus. Back-to-back go. -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Watch one. Watch one. There it goes. Two. They run with Logan. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. But we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Off the play fake, Thompson. Looking for Godwin and he's got him complete. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 15-yard line. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. I know you felt like saying touchdown there, didn't you, partner? That looked like a sure six points, but the contact jarred it free. Got his hands on it, could not hold on through the end of the play. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Shift, shift. Recon, 132 fighter. Five, five, five. To throw is Thompson. Off the play fake. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions. Third down here in 10, but you're still in field goal range. And that's the thing to keep in mind. They're in field goal range. So now you don't take any unnecessary risks, but you try and find a way to get back to what you were doing earlier in the drive in order to finish this one off. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And he'll be tackled right on the 10, well short of the first down. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. What well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a long start in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go up and make the tackle right away. So they've put together a good little drive there, but ultimately stalling out in the red zone. Yeah, I know a lot of people look at it as a little bit of a negative. They didn't get six points out of it, right? Didn't get the touchdown. But that's actually okay. They got three points. Able to give their defense a little bit of rest, let them settle down over there. So all the Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. Last time they were out here, they had the benefit of good field position, led to a touchdown. This time, they're going to have to work for it. They are. And oh, his first carry, he loses the football. And it's picked up by the Buccaneers. Well, he's not the starter coming in, getting his first carry off the bench. That's not the way to earn more carries. You have to stay in the game, even if you're not on the field right stay mentally sharp stay ready and above all when you get into the game on, hold on to the football over. don't let run, the other team run, have it, it. they'll run on first down logan and stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three the pickup goes for 13 and sets him up first and goal 
They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. A great play there with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Bucs have taken the lead. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And the lead is now 10-7. to seven. And Following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. This is taken at his four. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Falcons take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go-around. A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over, the other team takes it down and scores. That can be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. You know, they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Here's Ryan to throw. They'll set up the screen for Freeman. Give him five on the screen play, and that'll set up a third down. He's 20, 20. Ryan now to throw on third down. And he's got a man, Calvin Ridley. 20. Touchdown, Falcons. Pretty good response. They had given up the touchdown and the lead, but they struck back. And I love the way that they just saw it happen. Took a quick exhale on the sidelines. So let's go get it back and fast. Let's go ahead and throw the ball downfield and get our own six points. A huge chunk play to regain that lead. And he'll return this one all the way onto the other side Let's of the field. Partner, when I was in college, we used to have these things called game maxims that we did before every game. One of them said, press the kicking game, for here's where the breaks are made. It's the area of hidden yardage. How about that return? Flipping the field, taking it past the 50, ready, ready. and getting things set up to start the series. Hey, Sam off. On first down. It's Logan, and they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. It's a loss of two. Brings up second and 12 at the 48-yard line. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Leo, Leo. Now a give, right side. Logan. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance and guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to. And if you're in four down territory, now the ball comes loose. And the Falcons grab it. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. So the defense there, opportunistic. It's nice to give them credit, isn't it? Because so many times it's more a matter of what the offensive guy didn't do. He didn't secure the ball, didn't cover up. In this case, let's just give credit to where it belongs. Knocked it free, made a big play. They'll start on the ground. It's Edo Smith. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Now a give right side. It's green. And there is nowhere for him to cut back as he's taken down in the backfield. He lost two. The Third down, Ryan. He's going to fire one deep left sideline. 
This is caught inside the 15. And he will <laughs> finally be taken out. Out of bounds. So here, the men in charge are going to be looking at whether or not the receiver had possession of the ball as he went out of bounds. And they have to make sure that the receiver got both feet down in bounds as well. So on fourth down, they bring on the Michigan man, Matt Wilde, to kick it away. And this punt goes out of bounds, and it'll be marked inside the 40. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And last time, the turnover on the fumble. And they were in enemy territory, so that had to be very frustrating. Down on the scoreboard. And that's caught inside the 30. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. Chris Godwin, his first touchdown on the year. And the Buccaneers have once again taken the lead. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And it's now 17-14. Following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, realize it hasn't worked <laughs> go to so something well, else. and maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. Ball on the 30, they'll come up with a second and five. And he's gonna lose yards. They take him down at the 26. Chalk that up as a four-yard loss, and now it's third down. Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the... 59, ready! 5, 25! Go, go, go! Here we go, here we go! Right there, 54, right there, right there. 54, Mike. To throw on third down, Ryan. Incomplete. He had his hands on it, but couldn't pick it. But it's now fourth down. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. A good return there. Call it 13 yards. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. The Bucs offense set to begin their next possession. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-play drive last time, we'll see if the defense, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the yeah, last that's time. That's I mean, true. that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. They'll run it here with Logan. And pretty good running as he'll be close to a first down at the Falcons 44. And that's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there about to break a big one. On third down, it's Logan. And he loses the football a second time. Pass the 20. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. Just tack on to their lead. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Ready. 
About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. They're down now 24-14. Work to do as they come up on a first and 10. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. This will be a two-yard loss on the play. And that'll make it second and 12. Met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It's a loss of two, now third down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. Hey, Orbit. Third and long, it's Ryan. Looking downfield for Jones. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. But one thing's for sure, when you get a big receiver and you trust him downfield, you're going to give him opportunities to go up and get that 50-50 ball. And he is a darn good big receiver. Unfortunately, that time didn't work out. Nice job defensively. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. He was looking for Chris Godwin that time, but it'll be second down. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Second touchdown of the game, number eight on the season as the Buccaneers tack on to their lead. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting because three straight drives have ended with him putting the football away. Yes, he's starting. And oh, he coughed it up. And from the 25, they worked this to the 29, a gain of four. Second and six, just inside the 30. Check Mike, check Mike. 51, Tom. Get up. Ryan. Jones all alone, and he'll take it in. And the Falcons are able to show off their quick strike ability. Bryant tacks on the extra point, and the lead is trimmed down to 10. So the lead back down to 10 as things get a little more interesting, and the kick is away. This is fielded at the chalk of the 10. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. You've got under a minute to go here until halftime. You've got the good size lead. No need to do anything crazy. No, there really is no need to do anything crazy. The smart play, go ahead and take your lead into the locker room and then try and add to it in the second half. But there's a part of me that looks at this and says, first half going my way, I have a little bit of a cushion. Let's go ahead and try and extend things. If you've got some good plays drawn up, you might want to think about them right here. That's complete to his receiver, Godwin. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. That goes for a gain of 31. 
Well, that certainly changes things. Yeah, I think the thought process is they'd take this lead into the locker room, run something simple here and run the clock out. Instead, they get the big play. Now they have a chance to increase what they've done in the first half. Now a play fake here on first down. The connection here with Nelson Aguilar. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. This quarterback now over 200 yards already in this first half. It's first and 10. Now here's a pass on first down. It's knocked away and incomplete. Boy, the numbers throwing the football, just not trending in the right direction. Last week he was under 50%. He's under 50% again here. And we haven't gotten an announcement but it appears to me that he might be a little dinged up and it's just trying to play through. You know, he's one of those tough guys that wants to answer the bell each and every play for his team. That might be throwing off his accuracy. Now the Bucks gonna use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. Second down pass play got him eight yards. Now they've got a third and a couple remaining. Ready, ready. Here's Thompson. Flush to his right. This will be caught just inside the 10. The Bucks going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in half here as they come up on first and goal. Looking to throw. Thompson. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The Bucks forced to use their third and final timeout as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. First down, a bit of a disaster, and now on second and goal, back even further. Back to throw, Thompson. And this is gonna be intercepted. Ricardo Allen with a pick, and his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. Time here for likely one play, then off to the locker room, and they're going to have some adjustments to make. They certainly will, and I think a lot of people are thinking to themselves, all right, take the knee, get out of here, regroup. But how will the head coach and his staff approach halftime? Will it be angry? Will it be clinical? Will they be calm? Will they just let it all out? Who knows? I'd love to be a fly on the wall for this one, though. Now second and seven from the 23. Switch it, switch it, switch it, switch it. Check three, check three. Check, check. Check, 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 check. Check, check, check. Ready to go. They'll keep it on the ground again here. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this is a real, do I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. Just a couple on the ground there, and that's going to bring up third and about six. Brings up third and six. Hey, ready, Blue Hardy! Blue Hardy! Hey, bye bye. All right, D, let's go. All right, D. Right there. Hey, Charlie! Right there, 54. From the gun, it's Ryan. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to rule him out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete, certainly one they'd like to have back as it brings up fourth down. Here's Matt Wilde now, as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. And he'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. Here we go, here we go, here we go. 
The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. How about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude <laughs> by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Let's go, D. They run the counter. Logan. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. A gain of 10 as they look to add on to this 10-point lead. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and the creases like they were able to explore right there. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. A nice job defensively. And it likely forces a punt situation on fourth. Here's Bradley Pinion now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And he gets it away. A directional kick going toward the sideline. And this will depend on the spot as it sails out of bounds. And they'll say it sailed out at the 10-yard line. So they'll play the field position game here as a very nice punt is going to pin them back. Yeah, it's almost like watching a game of tennis. Or do you prefer ping pong, you know, back and forth like that? That definitely was excellent, wasn't it? Ryan will bring the Falcons up now first and 10 from back at their own 10-yard line. They begin with a run by Smith. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. That'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And that's going to make it second and 14. Out of the glot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time he was reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. Now it's Ryan. Oh, a battle for it here, and this will be caught. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. They'll run on first down. Muhammad. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. From the shotgun, Ryan gets it off to Freeman. They'll get a couple yards on that one, and it'll be third down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Operating for the gun, Ryan. It's caught, Jones. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucks' 45-yard line. On first down, Muhammad. And yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. Come on. Kill, kill, kill. On second down now. It's green. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. The tally there, minus two yards, brings up third down. 21! 22! Hey, box drop, box drop! Mike spot four, Mike spot four, Mike spot four. Watch the backer, watch the backer. Mike 59! On third down, Ryan. 
Oh, he's able to outmuscle him here as he pulls it in. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucs' 22-yard line. Ryan 10. Now Ryan going to give it to Freeman. And he's taken down after a gain of three as they move it from the 22 to the 19. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sift through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. Now a give right side. It's Thompson. He'll get forward for three down to the 16-yard line. Well, that rate, picking up three yards of carry, you and I both know that doesn't cut it in this league in trying to get first downs unless you're playing four down football. Then that's a whole different situation, but I don't think that's what they're trying to do here. Third and four, though, is still manageable. Ready, Blue 80. Blue 80. 54 Mike. You got nothing to do. You got nothing to do. They'll run it here. This is their fullback getting the carry. And he's able to pick up the first down before he's tackled right at the 10. Bit of a surprise. They ran it on third and medium. Proved to be the right call. First and 10. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll run here with Freeman. And a nice pick up there. He gets about five down to the four-yard line. Back now here on EA Sports. It's the Falcons. They'll have the football, but trailing on the scoreboard as we get set to begin the fourth. Second and goal from inside the five. On the carry, it's Muhammad. And this play doesn't go anywhere. Backwards, losing yardage to the 11. Third down just got a lot tougher. That will officially go as a loss of seven. You got to think this is likely four down territory anyway, but they'll try to punch it in now on third and goal. They'll try and run. Freeman. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. A good run that time. They couldn't close him down, and now nine yards makes for a very different situation on fourth and goal. And Bryant's kick is good. And this is back down to a seven-point game. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still at least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway. The Bucks' offense set to begin their next possession. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Watch Recon, 132 fighter. They run again with Logan. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Well, with the fumble he had earlier, we, we know how key keeping the football is here. That fumble earlier probably at the forefront of his mind. Just hold on to this thing. It's also at the forefront of the mind of the guys who are trying to get the ball from them. And since they've seen him drop it on the ground before, they're doing everything possible to have him do it again. They need that turnover. Here we go! 60 Pittsburgh! 54! Blue there! Blue there! Shit. Hit. On second down, it's Logan, and he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. The Bucks on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is third and nine. Check back, check back. Hey, Wahoo! 
snap. Thompson now operating from the gun. And that will be incomplete. Critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. 46 yards on the boot. The coverage holds him to just three on the return. And the Falcons will be taking over first and ten. set to begin their next drive the Falcons offense at the line and last time they got three points but it was a chip shot field goal and when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal maybe the offense not too happy it's a balancing act isn't it because you're exactly right they're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points but also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board three points is three points and in this league <laughs> you take points when you can get them not easily done on second down now, it's Thompson. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. This is Freeman on first and 10. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Atlanta. Well, definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. A first down carry for Smith, and he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it indeed. Here come the flags. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all, and now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. And now it's first and ten. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. And they'll run it here. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 47. Now he lost six there on the first down play. Now on second and 16, Ryan looking deep for Julio. And that'll be incomplete. Good protection that time, and they couldn't hook up on the long one. Now it's third down. I remember a coach telling me a long time ago the difference between playing corner and safety in the NFL. Corner is like the Autobahn. Everybody just flying by, and these corners have been really busy in this game, although they got it done on the last play. On the last play, yes, but there have been some good numbers put up against them offensively. Here's Ryan. Got a man open. It's Ross. And he can only manage to take this thing to the 38, well shy of the first down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type. Big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. Down seven, and they've got to go for it here on fourth down. Go, go. They'll try and throw for it with Ryan. Throw left side complete. It's Cannon. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Shaquille Barrett in on the tackle. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. Marcus Green, his second touchdown of the game, his third on the year. As they can now tie the game with the extra point here in the final two minutes. So here comes the kickoff now, all even here in this fourth quarter. 
Gets fielded in the end zone. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. They've got work to do, but they do still have a bit of time here. And they've got to feel comfortable with that, but they have all their play sequences called. If they get out of bounds, that allows them to huddle and call another play. But if they don't, it's hurry up to the line of scrimmage and either spike it and stop the clock or continue to move it downfield in order to try and get in range and win this game. See if they can do just that. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. Here's Thompson. Going to throw again. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Grady Jarrett gets him for a loss of eight. What great push up front. Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Former defensive guy. Now, as a quarterback third and long, you really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Yeah, you do in a big way. And what else do you have to look out for? More pressure coming at you because it seems to be working pretty well. A big play that time for Tampa Bay. 43 yards. What a game it's been for this duo. They remind me of a good comedy team. They know how to play off of each other so well. No matter how one riffs, the other's right there to pick them up, and they are shredding them in this ball game. So the big play moves them all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. This is Logan. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. They're making steady progress, but I see your face. You're worried about that clock. I'm worried about the clock, and at some point, you have to have a splash play in there as well. Here we go. Set. 50. Plant. Hey, lock it. Five. They'll keep it on the ground. Logan. And he'll take this one down to the 36. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as they get it with just 19 seconds left on the clock. So third down of the Falcons going with a dime. Six defensive backs. And the Jets sweep. This is Godwin. And that one covered beautifully. They're just of three to bring up four. And we will get a timeout with two ticks left. So it all rests now on the right foot of the kicker, Matt Gay. And we will get a timeout with two ticks left. So it all rests now on the right foot of the kicker, Matt Gay. This from long, very long range. And I don't think this has the carry. It does not. It's no good. It's a little teaching.